Thank you. Thank you. Today we have gathered to watch the super cut version of the Super Mario World Challenge, played by my boys Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Before we begin, I'd like to offer a little bit of some context for those unfamiliar with what this is. After Donald completed Quest to Kill the Ender Dragon, he had the idea to create a challenge to see who would play my second Minecraft map. Choosing Mario World as the game, he instructed me to put the rules together to make it engaging. And well, what came as a result is what you're about to see. If you're a new viewer, I welcome you to sit back and enjoy the antics that are about to transpire. And of course, to all of our returning viewers who enjoy watching our stuff, we love you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being an amazing group of folks. But I think you've heard enough of Big Biden. Folks, it is now time for Obama and Trump's Super Mario World Challenge. Enjoy the show. After everything we just went through, Joe, I think we deserve a little break from Minecraft. Okay, but these next two maps were actually play-tested and have a whole lot of quality to them. I need a fucking break, Joe. Okay, okay, whatever. Honestly, I don't even want to play another map. Why don't you play it, Barry? He made them for you. I mean, I made this map for Donald. The other two I made purely for fun, so whoever wants to play them can play them. Maybe we can have some kind of friendly competition to see who plays the next map. That would be a fun idea. Why don't we start brainstorming? I already figured it out. Really? What you got then, Donald? It's simple, Barry. You and I will play through a two-player game, and whoever comes up as the victor will be spared from playing Joe's next magnum opus. I like it. What game are we going to play? The game, Barry, will be a 1v1 match in Super Mario World. Ooh. Super Mario World, eh? You sure you want to pick that game, Donald? You do want to win, right? Oh, I am going to win, Barry. I'm the Mario World guy in our group. Is that right? Because I thought that title belonged to me. Yeah, well, we'll find out who's got the talent to own that title when the time comes. Joe, you're going to make the rules for our contest. What, me? Yes, you. We need someone to put together a fair set of rules to establish who wins the challenge. And this is all over who plays your next Minecraft map. So who better than you? That's fair. Well, give me some time, boys. I'll cook up something good for you. I'm sure you will. Can't wait. My boys, are you ready to platform today? I came out the womb ready, Joe. We'll see about that. What you're gonna see, Barry, is the blocky, lava-covered landscape that is a Biden Minecraft map. The second map really isn't all that bad. Don't worry, Joe. We'll see about your next map's quality after Donald loses this challenge. Ooh, you talk big for a fucking loser. All right. My man wants to get dunked on. Joe, tell me the rules to this challenge so I can start shitting on my boy here. Okay, so for this challenge, I originally thought the obvious thing to do was a race to the finish. But I realized that would be a little too boring. So here's what I got. The winner of this challenge will be decided by a point-based system that I came up with. A point-based system? Yes, Donald. Interesting. Basically, you two are going to do a 100% run of the game. While the overall order of levels you decide to play doesn't matter, it is imperative that you stay out of Bowser's castle until every other goal has been reached. The back door of Bowser's castle is also off limits. Okay. Do we just get points by completing levels? So here's the breakdown. The yellow and red levels are worth one point. Star road levels are worth two points. And special levels are three points. Ooh, I like that. It gives us extra incentive to hunt down the harder levels. But it doesn't stop there. Oh no? We can't forget about the castle, fortress, and ghost house levels. Right. Being some of the more dangerous levels, I made sure to give them some extra points. With that said, ghost houses are worth four, and the castle and fortress levels are worth five. But it doesn't stop there. Seriously? Oh yes, Donald, seriously. I wanted to make this as crazy as I could. So... If you manage to beat the Big Boo boss, you get two bonus points. If you beat a Resnor boss, then you get four points. Wow. Koopalings are worth seven. Seven? And the big bad Koopa King of the Hour Bowser is worth eight whole points. Jesus Christ, Joe, that's quite a bit to keep track of. Oh yeah? Well, I got more. You two probably thought I forgot about the Switch Palaces. Nope. Four points. And I'd advise you to actually try to collect some points from the goalposts, because I'm going to tally all those up into the final score, too. Goddamn. And finally... Oh, what? You couldn't think of ten more fucking things? I'll add up the number of lives you managed to hold on to after Bowser is defeated. Whoever comes up with the highest score will win Big Joe Biden's Super Mario World Challenge. Damn, so it really ain't just about winning the game. That's right, Barack. This challenge is about being the best and doing the most. So tell me. Which of you will it be? I gotta say, Joe, while I do find this to be a lot to process, it does create a different level of competition here. I agree. You did well with this, Joe. Thanks, boys. Not a problem. Now, can you turn the Mario Party music off now? Oh, sure. Sorry. Well, the rules are set, Donald. You ready to lose? <laughs> Keep talking. All that blabbing will make your inevitable faceplant even more hilarious. You know what? 
Since you're so damn good, why don't you start us off? No problem. The number two player is supposed to pick Luigi anyway. Ho, ho. Okay. Man, this is going to be great. For those unfamiliar with Super Mario World story... Joe, let me just stop you for a second. Wh what, Donald? Am I actually about to listen to you try to explain the plot to this game? I mean, yeah. It's a bit more than just Bowser kidnapping Peach. Oh, right. Not only does he have to save Peach, but Yoshi's friends as well. Can you believe it, Barry? This game's plot cannot be explained with just one, but rather two complete sentences. Fascinating. Now play the game, please. I hope you're ready, Barry. You seriously have no idea how many times I've played this game. Oh, wow, Barack, did you see that? Literally everyone on planet Earth can do what he just did, Joe. And Donald, I'm really not worried. Oh, no? No, because this is literally a game that I've played several times a year with countless friends and even my two daughters. Are they better than you? Boy, you're looking for a good sock to the face, aren't you? He's just trying to get you tilted, Barack. Don't let him get to you. Hmm. Guys, this is a competition. Trash talking is essential. I'll allow a few swings, but I ain't gonna have any bad blood in my contest, understand? Okay, Joe, I'm sorry. Barry, do you want to hold my hand for a moment before it's your turn? Sure, if you want some broken fingers. Oh, for the love of God. Watch me. Boom, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Very good, Donald. So he has 40 points now? Well, he actually has 41 because on top of the 40 points, he gets an extra one point for clearing a regular level. Oh, holy shit. The first level, and I'm already ahead of you by a country mile. Don't you worry, Donald, I'm gonna close that gap. I'm gonna go this way. Why not left? I'd rather not clear the left level because I'd be gifting Donald a switch palace. I'm not exactly scrambling to get four points, Barry. If a goal post level can gift me 40 points plus whatever bonus, I'd rather just stick with that. Oh, wow, that's actually true. Joe, did you even think about that fact when making the point system to this challenge? Don't worry, Barack, you'll see. Huh? What am I gonna see? Just play the game, guys. Ominous. No, there's nothing ominous, Donald. Fact is, I came up with a point system that I tested with Kamala. Trust me, this playthrough you guys are doing is gonna be a banger. Hmm, okay, Joe. All right, baby, let's get that 40. Are you fucking joking? You took the words right out of my mouth. Did you even try with that jump? I just timed it too late. Excuses. I told you he was getting you tilted, Barack. Don't let him win like that. You know what? I think I'm gonna go clear Dino Land 1. Why? Because if I clear Dino Land 4, that gives you Iggy's castle. And I don't want to do that. Who's to say I won't then just go clear the Switch Palace, forcing you to play Dino Land 4? Because you and I both know that your best shot of catching up to me is by collecting goalpost points. He's got a point, Barack. Are you really going to pass up a chance at 40 points? Whatever, Donald. Do what you want. <laughs> what the hell are you giggling about? You got 140 from a single goalpost. Yeah, and you barely got half the points I have. My man's already popping bottles and practicing his victory speech when all he's done is sprint past the starting line. We got a whole game ahead of us, Donald. If you're already counting me out, then it'll be twice as funny when I turn the tables. We'll see how this plays out, Barry. But I'm telling you, I'm not worried. Watch me bounce off of Chuck's head, boys. Another 40 incoming. What the shit? Damn it! Ooh, tough break there, Donnie. Tough nothing, that was a misinput. A misinput? You were in the fucking air, Donald. I miscalculated the jump and took my thumb off the button. That counts. Whatever, at least I have a shot of catching up now. Oh, still couldn't get a 40. Hmm, true, but if my math's correct, I'm pretty sure I just passed you. With a 26? No fucking way. Actually, he did. 26 plus the one point makes 27. Then add that to the 23 he already had, uh, and that currently puts Barack at 50 points. I'm now eight points ahead of you. And because of the way that we cleared Dino Island, you have no choice but to pick either the castle or the Switch Palace. Both of which will not give you as many points as a goalpost level. So in short, fuck you, Donald. Damn, all right, I'll admit it. You played me, Barry. Fortunately, according to Joe's rule, I should be able to gain 12 points from this castle. Five from the level and then another seven from Iggy. Okay, then I'll just beat the next level, which will just give me more goalpost points. Hmm, quite the fucking pickle here. Damn it. Yep. Enjoy my dust, Donald. Don't get too comfortable, Barry, Man, because gonna I'm be gonna... Funny. Joe, what are you babbling about over there? Don't worry about it. Just beat the level, please. You, you're you planning something. No, I'm not, Donald. Relax. Then what's gonna be funny? Your face if you lose to Iggy for not paying attention. Beat the level. Hmm. Watch me beat this without jumping on him. Wow, well done, Donald. Thank you. Fighting with the fire flower is like playing on easy mode. God, you're so fucking bitter, Barry. You literally started this. I thought Joe said no bad blood, right? You started this whole thing running your goddamn mouth. My guy seriously but can't when help I but do cry it, because it's wrong. I passed him. Quiet. This continuous badgering is already becoming insufferable. So, it's time for you two to get humbled. Humbled? What are you about to do, Joe? Get ready, you two. 
for Big Biden's Super Mario World wheel. What the fuck is happening? I'm gonna be busting out this wheel whenever one of you completes either a Switch Palace or Koopaling Castle. Some of the rule descriptions are self-explanatory, but others I will explain if we get them. Oh, wow. Damn, really? So, Donald, give the wheel a good spin. Okay, hoping for something good, I guess. Pick a level. Ooh, this one's actually kind of good for Donald, because he now gets to pick the next level Barack has to play. Are you serious? Oh shit, so that means I can send his ass to the four-point switch palace. That's correct, Donald. Well, Barry, off you go. Go unlock the mushroom block and claim your four points while I help myself to the next goalpost. You know, this is honestly a good thing. This is definitely one of the better levels for gaining lives. That's true. But you're really not going to tally all the points up till the end? Nope. So try not to die too much. Well, let's go and collect those four points. You know, this is karma for being mean to me. Uh, quit crying like a five-year-old, Donald. I'm just saying. Did you two already forget about the wheel? Huh? Oh, right. I almost forgot that you said castles and switch palaces grant us a spin at the wheel. Correct. Now give us a good spin, Barack. All right, here goes. Oh, shit. Barack bounced back with this one. Basically, the next level Trump plays will deduct points from his overall score. Are you fucking Ooh, kidding me? Yeah. Barack, uh, this is the level that introduces the cape feather, too. Tough break, Donald. Well, I'll at least have some fun with this power-up. Ugh, so good. Try to keep it in your pants, Donald. So, like, what if I don't collect points from the goalpost? Do I just lose the one point then? I'll tell you right now that if you try to purposely not get points from the goal, I'll deduct 41 points. No questions asked. You gotta play fair here, Donald. Oh yeah, because I'm totally sure you wouldn't be- Fuck, God damn it! how did my cape not negate that ball? Motherfucker. Damn it! no, I don't wanna lose a life. Oh, only nine. I'll count that. Really? I honestly feel like he may have been playing something. How? All that fiddle fucking around the goalpost. He has nine points less than you, Barack. Be happy to be in the lead. God, I really hate scrolling levels. Especially ones with those big moving platforms. I mean, if it weren't for them, this would be pretty boring. Yeah, that's true. Fun fact, did you guys know that you could just go up this next pipe to complete the level? Ooh, that's cool. I think most of the population already knew that. Well, Joe didn't, so... Oh look, a blue shell. You could probably use that to have Yoshi fly to the top of the goal. I don't think shells in Yoshi's mouth carry over. They don't. Oh, too bad. That could have been cool. Fuck, what is that? 80? 81. Jesus, seriously? That's what you get for running your mouth, Donald. You were literally shitting on me from atop a golden pillar 10 minutes ago for having half as many points you had. Now look where things have ended up. Okay, okay, I get it. A lesson from karma is always an informative one. But there's still enough time for me to turn this around. We'll see. So what's the plan here, Donald? Collect some cape feathers and open up the Star Road path. You want to get an early start at that? Possibly. Wow, you got lucky there. Where are you going? I'd like to leave this level with two cape feathers. You honestly don't need to risk getting another one, as I'm sure one of us will unlock top secret area short. Son of a bitch. Oops, my bad. Didn't mean to distract you. It's fine. I just didn't expect one of this bloated fuck's balls to appear while he was... That was so fucking unfortunate. Okay, let me just open up top secret area. You're such a fucking show-off. Excuse me? The ground's not good enough for you, Barry. By flying through this section, I lower the risk of the booze attacking me. I'm not showing off, I'm just playing the game good. That's actually the same fucking thing. It's not my fault you dropped the ball and lost a life, Donald. Congratulations to Barack for being the first to break triple digits. What the fuck, man? There it is. Do I get any bonus points for unlocking top secret area? I thought about it, but no. I'm going up there. I need capes without any mistakes. I always found this little section to be interesting because it didn't seem real to me for a time. Same here, honestly. I remember seeing an old internet post about this place over a decade ago. It felt like a myth, but sure enough, here it was. Didn't the Game Boy version replace the yellow dot with a little smiling hill? It did. Oh, that's cool. I honestly prefer that. Makes the area feel more special. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to- Ugh, fucking- Careful, Donald. It's okay, it's okay, I got this. Okay, good. That felt really tense. Get away from those booze, Donald. I swear, when he ain't fucking with me in Mario Party, he's fucking with me here. Hmm. We should do another Mario Party 5 session sometime soon. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another rematch. What does that put me at? 26 plus 4 points for the ghost house. You're now at 74, Donald. Okay, good. We're climbing. Secret exits don't have extra points, right? No, for these, you just get whatever the level is worth. Ah, so only one point. Oh, thank God. 
Try not to fly over the goalpost, Donald. Believe me, I'm more worried about missing a chance at getting points. Okay. Ooh, another 29. That now puts Donald at 103. Oh, Fuck wow. yes, I just about closed our gap, Barry. I gotta admit, I'm impressed you did that so fast. No kidding, I'm seriously relieved right now. Seeing you at 110 while being at just 45 was very stress-inducing. Well, lucky you, you managed to catch up to me. And by doing so, I now understand how quickly things can switch up in Joe's challenge. I know. I have to say, Joe, I'm having a lot more fun with this than I anticipated. Yeah, this is actually pretty intense. Oh, thanks, boys. Don't get me blushing. How do you guys feel about this game's water levels? Honestly, the best in the series. I'm including the 3D games when I say that. Really? You honestly think that? Yeah, I hate water levels. They're slow and they put me to sleep. But I like the way that they're designed in this game. Short, with enough hazards to keep it interesting. And the best part, there's not that many of them, so they stay fresh. I mean, while I do like them, I don't think I'd call them the best in the series. As a matter of fact, I actually cherish the water levels from Mario 64 because of the fun missions and, of course, the music. But if we're talking about the 2D titles, then I guess I would say these are among the best. I really like the water levels from Mario 3. In addition to being creative and full of interesting monsters, they went and added the frog suit which actually adds to the way you can explore each of those levels. That's true. It would have been really cool to have an aquatic-themed suit in this game. Yep. And it's for that reason why I think Mario 3 did the water concept better. Mario 3 threw so many mid-ass water levels at me that I'm surprised I didn't get burnt out by them after World 3. Really, Donald? Yes, really. It's one of the main reasons why I despise these types of levels. Well, I know what the fuck we're planning after this challenge is over. A Mario 3 duel? Ooh, that sounds fun. What'll be fun is me schooling your ass from World 1 all the way to World 8, Donald. Joe, I understand your passion with that game, but I suggest we focus on one 2D Mario challenge at a time. Why are you going for the one point? Like I said, I want to unlock the Star Road. I'm thinking ahead, Barry. Hmm, I guess I could go fight that boo boss. Be my guest. I honestly wish this game had more unique bosses like this. Yeah, I agree. I think it would have been cool to have a unique boss for every fortress, rather than it just being Reznor every time. That would be pretty cool. Although I do, at the same time, appreciate their decision to include a unique boss like this rather than a regular hidden exit, all right? Oh, come on. Barry, please, this is literally one of the easiest Ooh. fights. I know, Donald, I just mistimed that. Just run under him, wait for him to reemerge, then toss a block at him. It's not rocket science. There, are you happy? Hardly, I thought that block was about to go over his head. Ugh, oh, Donald. The Star Road's now open. You about to jump in, Donald? Not quite yet, there's a few more levels here I want to cover. Joe? You're now at 134, Donald. Coming back to the Ghost House goalpost was a smart move. You bet your ass it was. I'm right behind you, Barry. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. You know what, I'll come back to the Star Road. For now, I'll just clear up Donut Plains. Barack's going in, Donald. If he keeps up this momentum, you really may need to start strategically picking your levels. I know, Joe, but I'm not gonna panic. Wanna know why? Enlighten me. Because. Um, hello? Oh, it's coming. What, excuse me? My opportunity. My ace in the hole. Donald. Am I in your head, Barry? I'm in your head, aren't I? No. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Ha! What the fuck, Donald? Absolutely a fucking amazing. Oh, holy shit, Barack. No. D did he just use some kind of mind game shit on you? No. Yes. No. Yes. God damn it, Donald, no! Then what just happened, Barry? Actually, you know what? Forget about it. Let's instead talk about what really matters. Those goalpost points are now mine. No, the fuck they aren't. Was that so hard, Barry? What? Damn, I thought you were about to miss the one up. You didn't even try to get the points. I know. Does that make you mad? Oh my god, you fucking goon. What's the plan, Barack? I'm gonna unlock the Switch Palace. Why? That'll just give Donald access to the wheel. Oh, the wheel. I nearly forgot about that. Jesus, Joe, why do you gotta talk so much? What'd I do? I was hoping he forgot about that rule so I could claim the fucking wheel. What a dumb gamble. Oh, shut it, like you haven't done stupid shit. Oh, why the fuck? Why'd you do that? Just a dumb mistake. Oh, my fucking god. Jeez, big guy, let me do you a favor. There you go. Do you think I need your fucking pity, Donald? No, you wanted the Switch Palace. So there, I gave it to you. Well, I ain't fucking going there. Huh? Literally, why? It just feels pathetic. Oh, pride. That's honestly out of character for you. Say what you want, I'm collecting more gold points. Do what you want, Barry, I don't care. I need a moment. Get the wheel ready, Joe. I will in a moment. We might need to take a quick break for Barack. He's just in the corner staring out the window. Hmm, okay. I'll just pause the game here. 
I'll go grab some soda to help him cool off. He doesn't drink soda, just grab him a water. Whatever. Barack? Hmm? It's been about 15 minutes. Hmm. Come on, it's only a matter of time before Donald's gonna come out here. I'm not worried about him. Well, I think you are on some level. Just give me five more minutes, Joe. You know, I told you not to let him get you tilted. Who said I'm tilted? Barack. We're, okay, yeah, I'm a bit miffed. But my problem isn't just with Donald. I'm just getting in my own head. Look, man, this is just a fun little activity we're doing to build up my next Minecraft map. It's not Evo or some crazy life or death money competition. It's Mario World. Fair. So just take this water I got you, which is now room temperature, and come back to play some more. Okay, thank you, Joe. Let's go. Uh, Barry, perfect timing. I was just about to doze off. Donald. Yeah, and I see your head hasn't deflated. Come on, guys. The competition literally just fucking started. Are we really already trying to kill each other? No, believe me, Joe. I want to get this thing moving. I'm not going to take a four-week break if I accidentally jump into a piranha plant. This fucking guy. I know. I'm sorry. It was right there, Barry. Well, look, Donald. I'm still in the lead at this time. So if you're hoping to get out of playing Joe's map by beating me, you still got a ways to go. Well, quit talking and pick up your controller. I already got it. Put your phone down. Before we get things going, let's not forget that Donald ended the last session on a Switch Palace. So he gets to spin the wheel before we jump into the next level. All right, let's see what we got, fellas. Ooh, this is an interesting one. No goalpost points? Only for six turns. Hmm. In that case, I think I have an idea. You're going to the Star Road? Yep. Why are you going there now? If we're gonna go the next 12 levels without any goalpost points, I'd rather use the opportunity to clear a path to the special zone. Hmm, that makes sense. Barack is now at 149 points. Cool. He got two points? Yeah, remember, Star Road levels are gonna be worth two points. Ah, uh, I see what you're doing, Barry. Do you now? Since goalposts are meaningless, you're trying to clear out the levels that give extra points. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Like I said, I'm just trying to get to the special zone. Well, you know what? I want to go there, too. Mm. Just focus on the special zone path, Barry. I'll take care of the goalposts. Very well. Whoa. A good thing I didn't grab that. Donald, what'd you just do there? What, the little clipping trick? Yeah, I've never seen that. It's simple. Just move left or right while you break the blocks with your spin jump. But you gotta be sure you have a cape equipped. That's actually really cool. All right. Practicing your jumps? Yeah, I know they don't get me anything here, but practice makes perfect. There he is, boys. The blue Yoshi. Honestly, the only one worth unlocking. How would you guys rank the Yoshis in this game? Blue's obviously the best. I think green Yoshi is the worst because he doesn't really have any abilities. Doesn't he inherit all the powers depending on the shell he eats? Yeah, but all of them do that. Really? Yeah, I think from worst to best, I'd go green, yellow, red, then blue. You agree with that, Barry? Yeah, I almost never went out of my way to use the yellow Yoshi. Wait, so can all of them inherit the powers from the different shells? Yes. So what exactly is it that makes the blue Yoshi so great? He's the only Yoshi that doesn't require you to mash the fly button. Oh. Oh. I'm actually really glad we unlocked this Yoshi. Having a cape equipped while riding him ensures the player domination over about 90% of the game. That's actually pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Well, thank God no one asked, Joe. Thank Christ they thought to put him here at the beginning. I agree, because this level is actually very dull. So if my math's correct, we have to go through eight more goals before the wheels effect goes away, right? Correct. Jesus, Joe. What? I had to input something to keep things Oops. interesting, Donald. I honestly don't really mind this effect. Well, obviously you're okay with it, douchebag, because you're up by several points. If only you played better, maybe you wouldn't be whining. Ooh, good work, Donald. Thanks, I never rely on that Lakitu cloud. Psst, I love doing that. Ooh, perfect. Was flying for a while there. I was worried my guy would eat the shell. Hmm. Imagine if they'd let you stock all those feathers. That would be broken. Jeez, that was close. I would have laughed. Of course you would, Donald. We're almost there, Barry. Man, this is actually kind of tense considering how close you two are in points. Maybe so, Joe, but as long as I stay the course I'm on, I should be fine. We'll see about that. Just four more goals left until the floodgates open again for the goal post points. Excellent. Have you enjoyed our brief period of peace, Barry? Has it soothed you? I mean, I guess. Good, because the war drums are about to start booming. And they boom for me, Barry. Man, this guy's still talking. Go ahead, just talk blah, your blah, shit. blah, blah. Yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah, go yeah. on the and think you're on top of the her, damn mountain Donnie now. Time, oh, we'll see who's laughing. Just say less and show me your skills. Don't talk about them. You guys are fucking killing me, man. Sorry. Ah, uh, too bad that 40 doesn't mean shit to you. I swear, if you two keep fighting like this, I'm gonna pop you both in the fucking mouth. This is a friendly competition revolving around what I consider a friendly game. So figure out how to act more fucking friendly, you two. Or what? 
Are you gonna bust out the Biden punch? What I'm gonna do is find a way to leave a permanent engravement of my backhand on your fucking forehead, Donald. Ooh. That, well, hmm. Well, the star road has pretty much been completed. Not quite. Wow, so you guys are seriously about to jump into the special zone? I don't see why not. Yeah, we may as well get it out of the way now for the sake of collecting points. Seven points away. Seven for now, anyway. You know, what if we did something fun for the special zone, Barry? What do you have in mind? We go through the whole thing with just the items we have? Or rather, you can't go back to top secret area if you lose your cape and Yoshi. Sure, I'm down with that. Let's do it. Check this out, Joe. Wow, are you kidding me? Even the special stages fall to this bullshit? Why are you getting so mad? You have the option of playing the level if you really want to. I just find myself wondering time and time again if they made all this stuff intentionally broken. Barack is literally just skipping everything. It's fun for speedrunners, Joe. What's so fun about a game skipping power up like that? I get what you're feeling, Joe, but it honestly does feel kind of cool breezing through the level like this. You don't get that kind of cheap shit in Mario 3. Uh, no, you actually do. Huh? Joe, Mario 3 has the warp whistle, a literal item which can send you all the way to World 8. Damn, how about that, Joe? That is not the same thing. It literally is. No, it's not. It's a game-skipping item that literally warps you to the final world of the game. At least the Cape Feather still lets you play the levels you fly over. Agree to disagree. Joe, you want to see something cool, Barry? Sure, what you got? I'm going to show you how simple this level is. Tubular? Well, all right, you got my attention. Make sure you're watching too, Joe, because I'm about to fly through this shit like a P-wing. God damn it. Oh, holy shit. What the fuck? The hardest level in the game. And I just made it my bitch, fellas. You think this is the hardest level? Yeah, if you play it regularly, it actually is. Hmm, I guess. Personally, I think Soda Lake is the most difficult. Soda Lake? That actually is the hardest water level in the game. Hardest water level, maybe, but it ain't got shit on tubular. Hmm, should I risk abandoning my blue Yoshi to fly through this level? As your opponent, I would say go ahead. But as a bro, I would say to keep him. You think so? Well, why would you even be thinking about this? This level's boring, Joe. The first half of it is just standing on a platform. You'll be better off keeping him for the later levels. Yeah, you're right. Am I understanding here that the big debate is on whether you do or don't want to stand on a platform for 20 seconds? It's actually closer to 40, maybe 50. Do the people who love this game seriously suffer from ADHD? In much the same way that you suffer from being a mumbling, stumbling fuck? Sure. Mm. Ah, there we go. It's about time. How much more level is there? Not sure. I've always flied over all this. Oh, cool. Some Yoshi wings. Oh, wow. Look at that. What's neat about those wings is that they should be able to turn any Yoshi into a blue Yoshi. And the cool thing about this section is that it acts as a quick little shortcut. Neato. Barack, I'm sorry, but that was actually not the best move. What do you mean? The wheel's effect had worn off after tubular, so you basically just missed a shot at collecting goalpost points. Oh, what? Oh, holy God shit. damn it. This is my fucking chance to claim first place. Damn it, I was keeping count too, but I lost focus while playing the fucking game. A simple mistake with massive repercussions, Barry. Yeah? Well, let's see if you even claim any points. Who's the fucking show off now, Donald? Can't you just be happy for me? Oh, like you were when I was winning? That was different. It was absolutely not. It actually was a little different. Barack was carefully flying through hordes of ghosts with the cape feather, whereas Donald's just here using power-ups to cheat a special level. Would you let go of the hate boner you have for this game's power-ups? Okay, it's officially game time. Donald managed to pull ahead because of my mistake. But now I'm not only gonna close the gap, but surpass his score as well. So don't get too comfortable in the first place seat, my guy. Barry, while I do appreciate you keeping the throne warm for me, I have to remind you that Mario World has only one king. Yeah, we'll fucking see about that, Donald. Shit. Uh-oh. Ooh, quiet, I still got the other feather. Well, now you got fucking nothing. Isn't this the level we see in the title sequence? Yes, it is. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You better watch your ass during that final portion. No need to worry, it'll be fine. Oops. R.I.P. Big Doofus. Relax, Barry, I got this under control. Oh shit, he's gone. Damn, so you may have to actually start playing these levels then, huh? Joe, you're annoying. I can't believe you made it through that with both of your feathers. I know, it's horrible. Oh Jesus, Donald increases the gap by now holding 219 points. 200 and- Damn, fellas. What is that, 56 points ahead of Barack? I'm gonna make you eat my dust soon enough. Okay. Oh, I really don't care for Mondo. I agree, I honestly hate this level. And it hates Barack. 
Nice. Ooh, wait, I could probably use this area. There we go, eat a dick, Mondo. 246. Goddamn, Barack, you seriously need to win the next level if you don't want an uphill battle. You guys see that? All those stars forming an arrow? They're pointing at a real superstar, you know? Ugh, you are not funny. You are lame. You know, Barry, I'm actually worried that all this salt is hurting your concentration. Son of a fucking- Barack, just go get a Yoshi and some cape feathers. No, Donald and I made a bet, and I'm gonna see it through. There's that pride again. Welp, there's the last special zone level. What are you gonna do, Barry? Are you gonna beat it, or are you gonna fuck it up? Boot up Minecraft, Barry. This is just an actual waste of my fucking time. You are a super player. Jackass. Was that necessary? Donald, you gotta give him a second to cool off. I appreciate that, Joe, but I don't need a second. I need a W. Yes, you do, and I honestly hope you find one. But my god, Barry, after that back-to-back -back series of fuck-ups there, I don't even know what to say. Like, the fact that you actually implied that you were the Mario World guy in the group over me. Okay, I'll admit, I'm a bit rusty. Rusty? These excuses, my guy. I'm serious. It's been like a year since I last played this game. Ooh, what's all this? Well, shake off the rust and go get you some points, my guy. Because while I do want to win, I also want this to be interesting. What were you asking, Joe? Oh, don't mind me, I just forgot that this whole fall setting was a thing. I actually thought it was supposed to happen after you beat the game. No, yeah, this only happens after you beat the special zone. Watch out for that piranha plant. Good job. Does this help, Barry? Does killing them feel therapeutic? Are you trying to distract me again by egging me on? I just like providing commentary. Well, your commentary almost fucked him up again. God damn it, only one fucking point. Damn, Barack. I just fucking noticed that I missed that bar. I just, uh... Time to bag me another Koopaling. Not to mention another spin to the wheel if you kill Morton. There's no if you kill Morton, Joe. Do you really consider him the easiest in the game? Because I honestly think that title goes to either Iggy or Reznor. An interesting thought. I always considered Morton the easiest because you can literally take him out before he even gets to do anything. Yeah, I personally found him to be easier than Boom Boom just because of how much quicker you can kill him. They're really not all that different when you think about it. Like Donald literally pushed Iggy off with no effort a little while ago with a fire flower. Under normal circumstances, you can literally just take him out with two jumps. Oh wow, I've never even thought about it like that. But you mentioned Reznor. Is he easier than Iggy? Well, well, maybe not the more I think about it, but I've never died to him before. Never? No, never. Well then, get the camera, Joe. Because with how he's been playing, we may make history here today. Man, I knew you were gonna make jokes, Donald. My guy, it was right there, come on. All I'm trying to say is that you can kill him in 10 seconds, and their projectiles are slow as hell. Very true, but I think it's a bit of a stretch to call them the easiest. Iggy and Morton are still way easier. Yeah, and honestly, that big boo boss was pretty damn easy, too. What's with that pose? Mario's got his back to him. It's like he doesn't even care about Morton. I mean, in a moment, you'll see why. Just like that. Man, what the hell were they thinking when they were making these bosses? It kind of does feel like they were an afterthought, huh? Well, boys, I'd say I took quite the fucking leap, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, you did too, Barack, but kind of fucking took one to the chin with that belly flop. Yuck it up, Donald. You've seen how quickly one can bounce back in Joe's challenge. It's currently your hilarious 164 to my immaculate 309. I gotta admit, that is quite a gap there, Barack. Just watch, you two. Barack's bouncing back. Well, hang on, Barack. Before you do anything, we gotta let Donald have a go at the wheel. Me again? Well, let's see what we got, Barry. Oh, please be double points. Doesn't look like it's gonna go that far. Damn, that was so close. Oh, thank God, man. Mm. This one's actually kind of a dud because there's really only one level to go to right now. So nothing happens? Guess not. Weak. That actually ain't a bad outcome for me right now. You got lucky, Barry. So, Joe, would you care to remind us of our current point gap? Okay, uh, so right now it looks like Barack's at 164, whereas Donald is sitting in the lead with 309, Meaning that he's 145 points ahead. Huh, ain't that quite the leap, Barry? Just think, if this was an election, I'd be president right now. Yeah, only you would become president by being a damn tryhard at a Mario game. Was that supposed to be a sick burn? We bad-blooding right now, Barry? Ugh, you're such a damn headache. 
You know, I always found the vanilla dome levels to be the least memorable. How come? I don't know. I guess I just don't really care for underground levels. Well, there are some fun levels here. I enjoy the secret levels, and Vanilla Dome 4 is a pretty engaging area as well. True. But if you ask me, Valley of Bowser honestly had the more engaging underground levels. The landscapes weren't all just tunnels, and they have balanced challenges, which keeps the adrenaline pumping. I mean, the levels here aren't all tunnels either, but to each his own, I guess. How do you feel about Vanilla Dome, Barry? It's fine. Okay, 25 plus 1 for the level. Um, I should now be at 190. Okay. Damn, my guy's hard focusing over here. Well, I want to play the secret levels, so feel free to head towards the castle, Barry. Going back to top secret area? Yeah, I'm gonna need Yoshi. This is the way to do it without the Red Switch Palace. Good job, Donald. Thanks, Joe. So, Barry, what do you think? Am I gonna make it to Ludwig's castle before you make it to Lemmy's? I think there's about the same number of exits. Guess we'll find out. Barack, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just trying to get in the zone. You gonna go for the goalpost or switch palace first? That depends on whether Donald feels like snatching the wheel from me. Now nah, you can take it. My arm hurts from spinning it so much. Okay, Donald. Let's try not to get too big of a head, okay? No, let him talk his shit, Joe. Each remark will make his inevitable fumble all the better for me. Even if I do fumble, Barack, the amount of work you need to do to even approach my score makes me wonder why you don't just load up Minecraft right now. I'll answer that with my actions, Donald. Just watch me. I think I'm gonna go for the Star Road exit first, just to get it out of the way. 337. Hmm. You know, I honestly do wish the red blocks gave you fire flowers. The red and blue blocks are just platforms, right? Correct. I'm sure the developers didn't bother because they knew it wouldn't be used. What do you mean? Nobody plays Mario World and consciously thinks to pick the fire flower over the cape feather. Yeah, he's right about that. Ooh, is it wheel spinning time, Barack? It's about time. Please, for the love of God, be something good. Oh, shit. Oh, no fucking way. Oh, wow, boys. That effect could be a game changer. To put it simply, whatever you score on your next level is going to be doubled. How about that, Donald? Yeah? Let's just see what you score. Okay. Damn it. Oh, fucking... What's the matter, Donald? Hmm? Quite a bit of a slip up there. You getting nervous? W don't be ridiculous. It was just a simple mistake. Oh, he swallowed that blue shell. It's fine. There's another one on the green pipe. Son of a fucking bitch. Uh-huh. Stop. No, I can feel it, Donald. You're getting nervous about my inevitable comeback. You're trying to get in my head, Barry. And I'm sorry, but it ain't gonna work. How the fuck did you stomp on that shell when it was in Yoshi's mouth? That actually is a bit weird. It doesn't matter. I'll make it up there with Yoshi one way or another. What'd I tell you? You ain't getting a pat on the back until you pass those paracoupas. There. Man, it took you long enough, Mr. Mario World guy. Barry, quit giving me the me treatment. It sounds cringy coming out of you. All right, let's see if Mr. Game Changer can start game changing. The plan is simple, Barack. All you gotta do is get a 40. With the added points, that'll get you a total of 82, which will put you at 277. You'll drastically close that imposing gap between you and Donald. But getting a 40 is easier said than done, Joe. Barry, you could have just slid there. Not worried about that right now. It's possible, Barack. You just need to utilize that cape feather you got. That's true. You know, Barry, I'm honestly rooting for you here. Oh, is that right? I'm being serious, Barry. This is a genuine statement. I know you're low-key stressed right now. And the reason I know is because as your bro, I've picked up on all your negative mannerisms. Uh-huh. You're being quiet. Each statement has a hint of salt, and your movements are looking more hesitant, which tells me you're overthinking. If you keep this up, it'll make for a not-so-interesting challenge. I'm not overthinking, Donald. Ooh. Ah, oh, fucking shit, Barack. Okay. You guys know what's great about this level? What's that, Donald? Mm. Okay, time to collect some lives. Holy shit, Donald, those lives will really come in handy for the final score. No kidding. Let's see if I can reach 99 before the end of the game. Mm. Barry, you feeling okay over there? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, fucking ridiculous. Look, man, you can throw all the shade you want. It ain't my fault you fumbled your double points. Oh, not you with all your damn distractions? Okay, to be fair, I only actually tried to do that once. 
The other times were just you getting in your own way. Oh, whatever, you fucking liar. I'm telling the fucking truth. You're just so fucking scared from Minecraft that you're willing to play dirty to avoid Joe's map. Uh, once again, guys, the second map really isn't that bad. And it certainly ain't worth killing our friendship over. All that damn whining. E, E. Where's the lever, Joe? <sighs> the fuck was that? I don't want to fight the speedy spider, Barry. I want to take a break. And then he'd go bitch it up in Mario Party because of a damn boo AI. Well, hey, that situation was bullshit, and you two know it. And then we try to make the tier list on Mario Party? This fucking guy wastes five minutes of our discussion time to say, I know Mario Party 5 is S tier, but Mario Party 6 is even more S tier. This is getting oddly personal. The side game modes in Mario Party 6 are golden, Barry, and the side modes are great in 5 too. But who plays Mario Party for its side modes? A valid point? You done? Get it out of your system? Oh, I'll be done when I fucking win. Well, you're fucking miles behind. By, like, states? Practically a continent's length. So we'll fucking see, Barry. Barack's now at 227. About halfway through the game, and you finally broke the 200 mark. Congratulations, Barry. Just you wait, Donald. Your comeuppance is coming. Oh, I've heard that before. Oh, look. The dolphin level. Let this be the visual to symbolize my domination over this challenge, Barry. Here we fucking go again with his damn war drums. Still talking shit? Ugh, god fucking damn it. Yeah? Fucking stings, doesn't it? You just got lucky once again. It's still too early for you to count me out of the game. Well then step it up. Because frankly, you're fucking boring me. Fine. Wow, you sure showed me, Barry. Why don't you take some time to decompress while I take out the first Resnor? You guys ever think about how Mario can just breathe underwater? Only in 2D, though. But I mean, it's just a game, so whatever. Hmm. Barry, if you think this is gonna stop me, you're dead wrong. Ooh. Lost his rhythm there. Yeah, I'm still fine, though. Really, Donald? Yeah, the bosses are just so damn easy in this game. I've just developed a habit of disrespecting them like that over the years. But enough about that, what do you got for us, Barry? God, are you fucking kidding me? Didn't I tell you to decompress? I mean, I, I can't believe I just sat here for five minutes waiting for that. Oh, this level sucks. He did not touch that bar. I did get over it. Ooh, mark the page, Joe. It's Barack's first time in a Koopaling castle. You condescending prick. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Joe, are you gonna back me up at all? What do you mean, man? I've been telling you two to chill the fuck out and have fun. Don't fucking lump me into your petty drama. You two make everything so damn competitive. And you, Barack, keep taking everything so damn personal when you know Donald's shit talk is his standard tactic. You want me to have your back? Well, then lighten the fuck up and quit getting all fucking tilted. I... Huh. Wow, Joe. That was beautiful. Whatever, just play the game. What are you doing? I'm trying to be patient. Just jump, it's not that far. Oh my, that didn't happen. Barry, figure out whatever you need to figure out. I'm just gonna play this next level like nothing happened. Wow, good save, Donald. Thanks, I'll admit that got me wide-eyed for a second. Barry, you ready? Just going in with no power-ups? How daring of you. Good job. Donald, please give him a second to focus. Fine, fine. Now you have an advantage. There's literally no way to lose now. Oh right, Lemmy's got those fake out dummies. Oh my fucking god. Hang on, Donald, he's not out yet. Okay, he's out. Barack, I am... I'm playing that fucking level. I will not let this stand. I just cannot believe this. Look, I'm using your checkpoint. Unbelievable. Give a guy a chance and he just pisses it away. Man led an entire fucking country, and yet can't seem to beat Lemmy in Super Mario World. Thought his way through dozens of unfathomably difficult situations, and yet can't seem to think about when to time his jumps. Just ridiculous. You want to embarrass us like that? Honestly? These go on YouTube, you know. Watch me, Barack. Was that so fucking hard? Don't answer that, it wasn't. Uh, Donald, Barack just went to the restroom. Not surprised. So I guess we're taking another break? Looks like it, yeah. Oh, goodness, Joe. Look, man, it's fine. Let's just give Barack the time he needs to cool down.
do you mean, man? I've been telling you two to chill the fuck out and have fun. Don't fucking lump me into your petty drama. You two make everything so damn competitive. And you, Barack, keep taking everything so damn personal when you know Donald's shit talk is his standard tactic. You want me to have your back? Well then lighten the fuck up and quit getting all fucking tilted. I... Huh. Joe's right. Why the hell am I letting myself get so worked up? Considering what's at stake here, it really doesn't warrant that type of behavior. Even so, Donald's making a complete fool out of me. Hmm. So as of right now, that big doofus is leading by 220 points. Is a comeback even possible at this point? Actually, wait. I think there is something I can do to turn this around. But it's going to require a bit of some gambling. Huh. There really isn't much for me to lose at this time, so screw it. All right, Barack. If you hope to win this thing, you gotta clear your head. You gotta reach for that W and snatch it away from Donald's clutches. I'm ready. Joe, I'm seriously considering getting some pizza. That does sound pretty good right now. Or maybe sandwiches? You like sandwiches? Ooh, actually, yeah, I could DoorDash us some Jersey Mike's. Huh. You ever just immediately crave something, but only after you hear the name? Yeah, I get what you mean there. Hey, fellas. Oh, holy shit, Barack, are you finally back? I am, and I'm ready to kick things back in gear for real this time. Of course you are, right as Joe's making our order. It's really not a big deal. I can literally do that while you're playing. You want a sub, Barack? Sure, why not? Cool. Donald, while I do this, go ahead and spin the wheel again. Okay. This refers to Barack, right? Correct. He is not allowed to use an item for the next level. All right. And I think I know what level I want to try out. All right, Barry, we going to Cheese Bridge? Nah, I'm going to leave that to you. Where are you off to then? Yoshi's house? There's no goalpost, but I guess it may count for a point. No, what I'm doing is walking over to Ludwig's castle. Oh? Ludwig's? You sure you're up for the challenge, Barry? Oh, I'm ready. So the goal here is to win with no power-ups? Correct. All right, let's give it a shot. I actually really enjoy this castle. Really? Yeah, it's one of my favorite levels. As a matter of fact, Ludwig himself is honestly the best of the Koopalings. I agree with that. His boss battle is by far the most interesting of the bunch. I'm not too sure why they didn't make him the boss before Bowser rather than Whoa. Larry. Whoa, hey, wait, Barack, you just grabbed a mushroom. Oh shit, sorry, I was in autopilot mode for a second. You know what? Let him keep going, Joe. Excuse me? You saw what happened at Lemmy's. I don't care to have our reputation tarnished any more than it already has been. Hmm. Okay, Barack, I'll allow it this one time. Okay, thanks, Joe. Hmm. Perfect. You know, if you stomp on all these Koopas, you should get some extra lives. Very true, Joe, but I'm just gonna keep it moving. Hmm. All right. Barry, please don't fuck this up. So what exactly does Ludwig have that the others don't? Honestly, his fight is just more engaging. It's a wide open room where you have to walk up to him. He's blasting fireballs at you. And once you stomp him, he goes into his shell and shoots around, followed by leaping across the room to shoot more fireballs. It isn't difficult by any means, but he does enough to set him aside from the others, which battle in a tightly enclosed space. Makes sense. Honestly, the more I look at this battle, the more it reminds me of Boom Boom. Don't compare that weak little shit to Ludwig, Joe. Literally all of his fights are on par with Morton. Easy enough. Oh shit, Barry. You beat him? Look, Joe, Barry took out his first coupling. Nice, and with that, you've earned another spin at the wheel, Barack. Good shit, man. Let's see what I get. What's this one? Ooh, this one's very interesting. This effect triples the points of whichever boss level Barack completes next. Ooh, that is interesting. I think I could make great use of that. This one was always funny. Oh, wow. Eh, that little bandage is pretty cute. You can also see it on the actual world map. I love that. I see it as a symbolic message. For what? Well, your rise and fall, of course. Are you kidding me right now, Barack? You take out one Koopaling and now you're the king of games? Trust me, Donald, I'm aware of our current point gap. But you better trust that I'm ready to dethrone your bitch ass. Yeah, we'll fucking see about that, big guy. Be sure to brace yourself because I'm about to score another 41. I think I'll start by going for the secret goalpost. Man, this looks like it could have been an interesting level. Joe, how many times are you gonna whip out your hate boner? I'm just fucking saying, Donald. Miyamoto is promoting cheating with that damn feather. But there are a few areas throughout the game which require skillful use of the cape feather to get to. Much like the goalpost he's currently flying towards. Exactly. I just feel like they could have done something different. Joe, what are you fucking talking about? What? I mean, Jesus Almighty, literally nobody bitches about the cape feather more than you. And for no reason. Again, I'm just saying. You're just trying to get on my damn nerves is what you're doing. Hmm, 540? Yeah, you worried? Nah, I'm just thinking. I'm kind of surprised you didn't want to clear up the bridge area, Barack. Eh, yeah, Donald can do all that. I want to get a head start on the forest. 
This is another good level to grind some lives. Oh, it is? Yeah, but it's not as good as the area in Vanilla Dome. Nevertheless, it'll help me out here. Let me actually grab this. You better move quicker than that if you're hoping to rack up the one-ups. Don't worry about it, Donald. Let me do my thing here. Is the game lagging a bit? Yeah, that happens when you have all these sprites moving on the screen like this. Mm. Okay. Oh, I was actually hoping to get to the secret exit. You technically still can. No, I'd prefer to keep Yoshi at this time. Okay. 27. So, with that, Barack is now sitting at 268. Very good. Joe, can you please explain to me why you think this level is the hardest in the game? It just feels like a bullet hell with all the damn fish and torpedoes. Torpedo Teds. Whatever. I see the reasoning, but if you just know how to dodge, it's not all that hard. Maybe so, but at least you can't cheat it like you did Tubular. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. In truth, Donald, if you didn't have the cape feather, this would be a bit challenging for you. Yeah, but too bad I do, right? Big Barry just wants to see me fumble? Well, I didn't say that. But you're thinking it, right? Because you were pretty pissed off a moment ago. A moment ago, yes, but I assure you, I'm fine now. Oh, you shit it all out in there? That's good, I guess. We'll see how long it takes for you to get your IBS again. My IBS? Irritated bitch syndrome. It's pretty common among sore losers. For the love of God, Donald, would you cut that shit out? Oh, apologies, I was just messing around. Barack knows I'm playing, right? Yeah, sure. Just wait, bitch. I'm gonna make you boot up that fucking map soon enough. All right, baby, another 40. Oh, what the fuck? Tough break. That's bullshit, I hit the bar. Guess you didn't, get over it. Barack? Boy, it really does help getting to life grind twice, huh? It really does. All right, an extra point for the books. This should open up the forest ghost house next. Well, that last level was a bust, but I'm still in the lead. Claiming 41 points here should be a cinch, though. Uh-oh. Ooh, big ouchies, Donald. Why would you even be flying so close to those saws? That was honestly a very avoidable fuck-up that you somehow fucked up. How embarrassing. You died to Lemmy with a cape feather. Don't you dare talk to me about what's fucking embarrassing. That's old news, Donald. That happened less than 20 minutes ago. Anyway, I think I'll go for the regular exit first. Huh? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no. Would you just fucking jump? Hang on, Donald, I'm trying to do something here. Perfect. Holy shit, Barack just broke 300. No fucking way. Way. Okay, I need to get some points here. Given the positioning of everything, I don't see it being a 40. Oh, uh, what the fuck ever, Barack. 20 points. Out of curiosity, Joe, what kept you from putting a ghost house in your first Minecraft map? I wasn't really too sure how to implement one. And a jungle temple also just sounded more interesting to me. And a giant waste of space bonus area, evidently? It was for lore building. What lore were you building exactly? That they mined and believed in Christ? I mean, I left it up for interpretation. Interpretation? Yes. Well, I interpret that it needs more context to make sense. A fucking course, this guy. 334. Barack seems to be turning up the heat, Donald. Got any game plans? Just one. I'm gonna keep on racking up goal points. Make no mistake, Barry. You may have your head screwed on right for now anyway, but there's still a huge fucking gap between us. Oh, I know. And I can't wait to see your face when I close it. Ain't happening. Which way are you gonna go? Well, I was actually thinking about paying a visit to the forest fortress. I plan on bagging me some Resnor points. Interesting. Okay, I just placed the order. From Jersey Mike's? You just now thought to do that? Sorry, I honestly got caught up in the competition. It doesn't matter as long as it's coming. Hmm, interesting. So you really don't want to drop any hints as to what your next map will consist of, Joe? No, I don't want to spoil anything. That would just take all the fun away. Fair enough, but I at least want to ask this. Are there any mazes? Oh, look, it says that our items are getting ready to be shipped what? over here. You mean delivered? Semantics. Someone's bringing them. He's really just going to dodge that question. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You ever stop to think about how overpowered Mario is in this universe? Occasionally. This guy literally just goes around obliterating monsters like it's nothing. One swish of the cape and wham! You're erased from existence. It is pretty terrifying if you view it from the perspective of Bowser's goons. You two ready for the shortest level in the forest? Oh yeah? Do you ever honestly play this level, Barry? Because I don't. Nah, it's just quicker to fly through it. Well, what's the gimmick behind this level? You basically switch between two flying platforms that move slow as molasses, but the background makes you think you're speeding through the forest. And while you wait to reach the goal, there are some flying enemies and coins you can collect, but nothing else. That does sound like it would be a bit underwhelming. Trust me, we're not missing anything. 
All right, cool. Now I can access the fortress. Feel free to take it. I'll be over here collecting points. Have fun. God, this level is such a pace breaker. You can't wait two seconds? Not when you're fueled by such impeccable adrenaline like me, Barry. Uh, here we fucking go with this shit. What's your problem? Once again, you just further prove my point that Mario World fanboys have ADHD. ADHD's these nuts, Joe. Oh, how fucking mature, Donald. You're seriously you know, getting on I my nerves into this with challenge your fucking Mario World campaign. I can't this do a game, fucking but instead, thing I'm in this game without you whining. E, e, I can't even Donnie enjoy a good water level Feather. without you crying about If you want to play this damn game with no Yoshis or power-ups, be my fucking guest. I'll quit trying to fuck up my place by whining about everything. Holy shit, guys. Chill out. Fucking nothing about what either of you two are talking about matters that much. No, you're right, Barack. I think I'm just getting hungry. I'll admit, I'm a bit hangry, too. Sorry for snapping like that, man. Nah, it's fine. We both did it. Where are those sandwiches at? The app says they're about 10 minutes away. Geez, I forgot how far they were from Barack's house. Wait a minute. Weren't you gonna go to the fortress? Maybe after the Switch Palace. Oh, shit, that's right. I went to the damn secret exit. Fuck! Oh shit, that's the last Switch Palace too. Did you just fucking play me? Uh, no, you played yourself by arguing with Joe. You got lucky that I wasn't paying attention, Barry. But will he get lucky with the wheel, I wonder? Let's find out. Holy shit, Barack gets double points. Are you fucking kidding me? And let's not forget that he also has that boss times three effect still in place. Oh, I'm feeling real good about my comeback right now. Would you back the hell away from your mic? Well, fuck, I may as well go to the fortress myself. Well, on the bright side, at least this section is now easier, courtesy of Mr. Coordinated Assault over there. What are you talking about? I have a feeling that you instigated that argument, causing me to get distracted. Donald, does it ever occur to you that you're capable of making mistakes like anybody else? Maybe, but I've made so few of them that I honestly find that hard to believe. You're such a ridiculous person. Watch this, guys. Ooh, I've never actually done this. Really? Yeah, so this will be a new thing for me. There you go, buddy. Are these all one-ups? Yes, they are. Damn, there's a lot of them. This will really help with Donald's final score. Thank God. Barry, how do you expect to beat me when I'm racking up lives level after level? I won't need an end-of-game point gimmick to beat you, Donald. Yeah, we'll see about that. They actually thought it was a great idea to reuse this boss four times. Get ready for the big one. And just like that, Barack has gained 82 points, courtesy of the double effect. The gap has now dropped, with the point difference currently sitting at 186. Ooh, how about that? Unbelievable. God, I'm actually getting really hungry right now. Any updates on the sandwiches, Joe? Should be anywhere between three to five minutes. Okay. Oh shit, Donald. Hmm? With the extra 30 points, your overall score is now 666, the number of the beast. Oh, uh, why do you gotta bring attention to that shit? We don't need any of that demonic crap happening, like that time with Jeb. You're right, I'm sorry. Looks like the sandwiches are here. Oh, thank Christ, I'll go get it. I'll go with you. I wanna give the driver a cash tip. Why didn't you just do that on the app? I always tip with cash. Whatever, come on then, I'm hungry. Barry, you staying here? Yeah, you two are just bringing the food, right? Right. Then go ahead, I'll just be going through this next level. Okay. Am I right? Oh no, a bottomless pit. Heh <laughs> I never would have thought Jersey Mike's would have given me an opportunity like this. But I'm real thankful. Joe, are you almost ready? Barack's waiting for us. Yeah, sorry for the holdup. I just needed to make sure everything was right. No worries, come on. Okay, we're back. Cool, pass me my tuna sub, Joe. Here you go, Barack. What happened? Did you beat the level? Actually, I unfortunately missed time to jump and fell down a bottomless pit. Guess your luck's about to run out then, huh? Highly debatable, Donald. Now go ahead and play the next level. For some reason, this area's layout reminds me of the Smash logo. Hmm, I can kind of see it. There, Joe. The Jeb number has now passed. Huh. Ooh, hey, looks like I get to play another Koopaling Castle. Yeah, let's see if you can actually beat it. You know what, Donald? I'm about to show you what the fuck I can do in this game. Oh, please enlighten me. Oh boy, what's he about to do? Oh, no fucking way. Are you really? A moment of silence, please. Whoa, you can fucking do that? I... Fuck yeah, first try, baby. 
I, I don't even know what to say. That was a trick that requires very precise movements. And you fucking got it on your first try? Yeah, you still want to talk shit? Actually, I'm honestly pretty fucking impressed. So this is when they pretty much start to reuse boss gimmicks, right? Yeah, pretty much. The wall gimmick aside, this is literally just Morton's fight all over again. Ooh, damn, Donald. Hmm? With that times three boss bonus Barack had, he's now sitting at 486. 486? That's right, Donald. So our point gap is now down to 181 points. And you better not think I'm done cranking up the heat. That's how you're gonna look by the time we're done here. Oh, please, that right there is symbolism for how you'll look when all this wasted effort blows up in your fucking face. Oh, real clever, but I assure you that won't be happening, Donald. All right, boys, you ready to tackle Chocolate Island? Am I ready to claim the W that was destined to be mine since this challenge started? You're off your rocker if you think I'm gonna let you win, Donald. Off your rocker? Who the hell even says that? Oh, for the love of God, man. Just take your damn turn and beat this next level, please. With fucking pleasure. Hey, hang on a second, guys. Barack still needs to spin the wheel. I already started the level. Oh, fine. Barack, just roll, please. How about you try being more patient next time? How about you quit whining and just tell me what it lands on? Oh, wow. Barack just rolled another boss times three effect. What? Fantastic. Whatever. Luck of the draw. Or spin, in this case. No. You know, why am I even letting myself get worked up? The point gap between us is so astronomical. And there's what, two chances left for you to spin the wheel? Well, actually three. What do you mean? I figured I'd throw in a bonus roll for whoever completes the ghost ship. Why? It's a unique ghost level, which opens up the final area, Donald. Is there a problem? No, you just didn't mention that before. Whatever, man, I'll gladly take another opportunity at the wheel. I'm pretty sure this is the house with that ghost Lakitu. Oh, yep. There he is. Probably not a good idea to be flying over him, I bet. Not really, no. Hmm, then let's see if I can try to land here. Oh. It's okay, I figured that would happen. Try not to lose this one. It'll be okay, I'm pretty sure there's another feather over here. Perfect. Man, this is kind of nerve-wracking, isn't it? Eh, not really. You just gotta have a little bit of some patience. Oh shit. Barry, come on, this is not that hard. Well, see, it's that ghost pit which is throwing him for a loop there. Ghost pit, Joe? It's literally a moving pit in a ghost house, Donald. What the hell else do you want me to call it? Hmm, he's got a point, Donald. Okay, fine. Why am I still seeing this, Barack? You gonna run the timer out? Keep your lid on, I'm getting there. 30 points. Which puts you at 516. 182 points behind Donald. This is doable. Is it, Barry? I can't wait to see your face when we find out. Hmm. Isn't this next level sort of random? It's not so much that it's randomized, it more so depends on the amount of time you take in each section. Oh, it's time-based. I always thought that the paths were determined by coin count. Yeah, no, it isn't. But if I'm being honest, I don't really remember the times needed to get either exit. So you're saying this level might take a while? I mean, hopefully not. Hmm, a flat landscape? Aw, oh, damn. This is the secret area. I was really hoping to avoid this spot. What, because the points? Yeah. I mean, if neither of you remember how to navigate through each section, then there's a chance that Barack may end up here Shit. too. Really just putting that out there in the universe, Joe? I'm just saying, man, it's a possibility. Well, hopefully Lady Luck will be on my side. Aw, uh, come on, really? Why didn't you just throw it? Shit, I don't know, Barry. It was just a mistimed jump. Boy really tried charging at charging Chuck. Okay, let's see how this goes. Secret area. Damn it, I was hoping for a goal post. That means the odds are still looking pretty good for me. Let's just run this shit with no power-ups. Ooh, feeling daring right now? Yeah, it'll be fine. W what the fuck? I hit A. Uh-huh. I fucking did, Barack. Don't worry, Donald. I'll take care of this. Ooh, this is different. Are you fucking kidding me? The second try? It be like that, Donald. You are such a smug prick. A winning smug prick, thank you. The fuck you mean winning? You're not even close to my score. Oh, really now? Looks to me like I'm climbing. What do you think, Joe? The fucking head on this guy, I swear. Whatever, I'm heading to Chocolate Secret. Still no power-ups? No, I need to redeem myself after that last fail. I like how the game tries to fuck with you there. Yeah, I honestly fell into the lava pit during my very first playthrough. All right, we're in business. Wow, you already went bankrupt. I'm gonna flip your fucking monitor, Barack. Donald, what was even the game plan there? I know, you literally could have just passed them. Thank you, Joe. Which exit are you gonna go to, normal or secret? May as well go secret, seeing that it's the legit way to progress. Uh, Holy cow, that 41 bumps Barack up to 588. 
The gap now drops to 110 points. Fucking... Oh, is my boy letting me catch up now? Keep yapping. It'll make it funnier for me when you're searching for a lever that isn't there. Wow, Donald. Forget this level. I'll just go the other way. You gonna go back to top secret area? Not yet. Donald, your pride is gonna lead to another L. We'll see about that. Wow, Donald. Jesus, Donald, just go to top secret area. Six sixteen. The point gap has officially dropped to the double digits. Gee, what was that thing you said earlier about my effort blowing up in my face? Fuck all of that. This incessant shit talking will no longer stand, Barry. Get ready to taste the bitterness of failure. My man here is all talk with minimal action. Oh yeah? Another 41 for you, Barack. One that didn't require me running back and forth like some clown. Very nice, Donald. I'm happy for you. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be helping myself to Wendy's castle. What, huh? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! I forgot you just cleared Chocolate Secret! That's right, that point bonus and wheel spin is as good as mine. We'll see about that, Barry. May I remind you that this castle is the one with the skewers? Oh, is that what they're called? I didn't even realize they had a name. It ain't nothing I can't handle, Donald. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe these things were nerfed in the Game Boy version. Really? Yeah. Rather than just immediately killing you, you instead get a few frames of invincibility. The Game Boy version also switched it to where Mario just turned into Big Mario when losing a feather or flower. That's honestly kind of lame. How is it lame? Because they made an already easy game even easier. All right, Mr. King of Games, think you can beat Lemmy 2.0? To be honest, I always felt this fight was easier, so yeah. That is actually true, but I'm sure you'll find a way to mess this up. Appreciate it, big guy. Damn, good timing on that hit, Barack. Did you see how close that fireball was to hitting you? I know, that was close. He got another 36 points, didn't he? Yes, which now puts him at 652. And let's not forget I get another roll at the wheel. That's right, go ahead, Barack. Please, something good. Fingers crossed for a dud. Oh shit, a point deduction. Hmm. Honestly, that's fine. I'll just go to the fortress, which will only cost me nine points, just like before. I, okay, see, that's bullshit, Joe. No, it isn't. What, what's wrong, Barack? Think about it. The point deduction effect is supposed to be the scary consequence on this wheel, right? Yeah. So why leave it up to the victim of the effect to decide how many points they lose? Barry, stop talking. Well, I... Before you say, and I'm sorry to cut you off, Joe, honestly, before you re-explain your previous statement that anyone who deliberately tries to lose minimal points will be penalized, I'd like you to realize that it's very easy to get away with not scoring high. And then just now, Donald literally just said he'll just go to the fortress because he knows he'll only lose nine points. I don't like what you're doing. Is there a rule stating that he has to go to a level with a goalpost? No. And come to think of it, the only two available levels for him to play are the fortress and sunken ship. Wonderful odds, right? Look, all I'm going to say, and I don't care if you take it as me being salty, that rule would make a whole lot more sense if it was just a 40-point deduction. 40-point, you butthurt little bitch. Don't fuck me like this. Well... No, no, Joe, I swear. Donald, I'm sorry. He's making a lot of sense. No, you can't just change a fucking rule mid-game. Oh, really? Not even when you try to do it? Joe, he's just trying to play you into helping him out. I'll tell you what, Donald. Joseph? I know if I do this, it's gonna set you back, and I don't want to be totally unfair to either you or Barack. But I feel like it'll be a more interesting game if I do the D-Duck. Oh, this is so fucking rigged. Donald, listen, please. Barack. Yeah? I'm gonna go ahead and throw you a bone now by dropping Donald's score down to 699. Bullshit! But, to make it up to Donald, I'm gonna grant him two free rolls at the wheel that he can use at any time. Oh? Wait, two rolls? Either take it or leave it, Barack. You want me to give him the 31 points back? You play a hard bargain, but I'll take that. Okay. Donald, do you want to use your rolls now? So whatever effects I get will be transferred to Barack, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Hmm. I think I'll hold on to them for now. Thanks for this, Joe. You got my cranium cooking up a scheme. This fortress is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. Oh, really? Yeah, I just think the level design is really cool for some reason. Okay. Good job. Shut up. Brock, have I been the only one beating these fortress levels? Yeah, why do you ask? Literally no reason, just a random observation. You know what's actually really cool about this level? In the actual Mario World instruction manual, it's actually stated that this sunken ship is one of the airship levels from Mario 3. Wait, really? Yeah, that's actually true. Wow, I honestly never knew that. Yeah, I like to see it as a neat little bit of lore. Hmm. What's up? The booze here actually laugh in the Game Boy version. 
It's interesting seeing all the little differences. You know, I honestly don't know how you could tolerate the Game Boy version with its atrocious music. Donald, why do you insist on bringing that up every time I bring up the Game Boy version? I mean, do you not remember that game's rendition of the Ghost House theme? It literally just farts the notes at you with that primitive Game Boy sound quality. It wasn't all that bad. Uh, no, it actually is, Joe. Have you guys heard the Game Boy version of Valley of Bowser? It's actually a hideous downgrade from the original. Whatever, man, you guys just can't handle the finer things. You better watch yourself, Barry. If you don't grab that second star, you may end up hitting those spike balls down below. I'll be fine. All right, there we go. How much is this level worth, Joe? It's technically a ghost house without a goal post, so Barack gets four points. Oh, that's kind of lame. Well, I mean, if you don't want the points, I'll gladly take them. You also get a roll at the wheel too, Barack. Oh, right, I actually forgot about that. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh my God, really, again? Damn, Barack, how do you keep getting that? I guess the wheel just favors me, what can I say? Hmm. I always felt that intro was too cool for the last section. Why? What's wrong with Valley of Bowser? Does it not feel like it's too short to you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's got eight levels, which is the average number of levels per section. Do you just not like the levels, Barack? Eh, uh, the first two are pretty boring. And I guess the problem I'm referring to really revolves around the back door route. Ah, uh, I can understand that. Okay, cool. That should put me at the low mid 700s. Right, 736. Not too bad. Oh, what the hell, man? So, what was supposed to happen there? I was hoping one of the blocks would hit him. I mean, you have to hold them for uh -huh. the hitbox to be active, Barry. Yeah, this okay. isn't some type of foreign concept. What the fuck ever, Donald? Excuse me? Man, it's about fucking time something bad happened to you. I swear I wasn't even touching that fucking thing. Some of the enemy hitboxes are weird. But hey, since I'm about done with Chocolate Island, do you want to repeat what we did in the special zone? Blue Yoshis and Cape Feathers? Yeah. Sure, I'm down. Oop. Shit. Whatever, the ending's right here. Oh. Whatever game, I'm in the lead. Once again, I find it funny how Yoshi just breaks the game. Yoshi as a character is just so interesting to me. What other character could just ingest an entire creature, twice its size and weight, in just one go? Kirby. Oh, well yeah, I guess so. But it's low-key terrifying when Kirby does it, because dude just eats you, then steals what makes you you. Very true. Yeah, but I'm sure enemies who get eaten by Yoshi still go through a horrifying process. Yeah, imagine getting eaten, shat out in an egg, then used as a projectile to kill your comrade. Hmm. What's it gonna be, Donald? You gonna give up the Yoshi or the goalpost? Keeping Yoshi means you lose the chance at a goalpost, so I'm gonna do that. Wow, that was a conveniently placed block. Better hope that decision doesn't bite you, Donald. Nah, it won't. What's the current point gap between the two of us anyway, Joe? Uh... Oh shit, when did it drop to 41 points? Oh? Wait, how much? Currently, Barack has 697, whereas Donald has 738. If my math's right, that means Barack's only 41 points behind. Regret skipping that goalpost yet, Donald? I... I don't even understand this. You were so far behind. You underestimated me. And you died to Lemmy. Ho, oh, I'm making the most of this. Absolutely not, Barry. Just gotta get this right. You fucking won't. I fucking will, Donald. Watch me. Hang on, no, that ain't the one. Oh my fucking Christ, this guy. Holy fuck, he did it. Barack finally closes the gap, surpassing Donald's score with a triumphant 741. Triumphant? Ooh, yeah, baby. I... That's what okay. we've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. It's only three damn points, Barack. You think I won't pass you again? Let's fucking see you try, Donald. I will not be beaten by a guy who lost to a damn Koopling. That just won't be in the timeline. Man, can you think up some new insults, Donald? Oh, sure. How about the fact that you literally spent the last 30 minutes sweating buckets like it was life or death to catch up to me? No, I just hadn't tapped into my full power at the time. Holy... Three points, Joe. He's collecting his Olympic medal after breaking three fucking points. I don't remember the last time I saw him this excited. Oh, look. Donald's trying to copy me because he's scared. What? But is he gonna pass me? Stop trying to distract me. Nope. Okay, Barack. Is he gonna do it, Joe? Seriously, relax, man. Son of a fucking bitch. Oh, he doesn't. So sad. Oh my fucking god, man. Let's see, goalpost or secret exit. Are you really feeling that fucking cocky, Barack? Because if you're feeling like leaving me the last goalpost, I'll gladly fucking take it. As long as it means I get my times three boss bonus? 
you can do whatever the hell you want with that goalpost. 36 points won't save you from my comeback, Barack. Oh, Donald, you beautifully blind oaf. You haven't yet caught on to how perfectly the pieces have laid themselves out for me. What are you yapping about? Just pay attention when you see the world map. Oh, wow, Donald, I see what he's talking about. Barack has managed to put you in a position where you pretty much have to gift him the last Koopalin castle. Whatever, it's fine. You sure it is, Donald? Say I beat it and then roll a double points or boss times three effect. That will not happen again, Barack. How do you know? Nobody is just consistently lucky like that all the time. This isn't about luck, Donald, it's about karma. And as you said before, a lesson from karma is always an informative one. What's karma coming at me for? You spent all that time shitting on me. Now it's time for me to shit on you. Yeah? Well, I got something I can teach you about too, Barack. What's that? Come up and Donald, that's the same fucking thing. No, it isn't. It's a different word. I'm gonna enjoy watching you run around aimlessly in Joe's Minecraft mazes. Now you're attacking Joe. I'm attacking you, idiot. Jesus fucking Christ. Guys, quit fighting. This whole contest was literally devised to figure out who gets to sit out from Minecraft. It's not even about Minecraft anymore, Joe. It's about principle. Oh, pfft. Fucking principle. This you, guy- you, Donald, you're the one who made this about principle. No, I didn't. Mr. Ooh, who's the Mario world guy, Barry? Okay, calm down. I can't sit out from Minecraft if I can't score. Perfect. Nice one, Donald. Yeah, nice. Barack? But will that 41 save you? Uh, just shut up and do what you're gonna do. Hmm. Wow, that's another trick I never even thought about doing. You're a really by-the-book kind of player, huh? Like the kind who actually stands there twiddling your thumbs while the snake platform maneuvers around? Yeah, I am, truthfully. What an existence. I should now be at 778. Well, I'm at 780. What's the big game plan now? I roll. It comes down to this. Points or a dud? I'll take a dud. No one asked you. Oh shit? No! Looking like a dud, Barry. Wow. Whatever. I may not claim total dominance, but I at least have things set up to where I can squeeze out a win. Yeah, sure thing, big guy. Just go to the ghost house. Once again, I'm three points ahead of you, Barry. And, oop, I'm sorry, are there not any more goal posts for you to use? Don't need one. Okay. Ooh, two points. Mm. Phew, that was close. It just fucking kills me that they have intense levels like this just to fight an easy-ass boss. For the fourth time. Literally with no differences in gimmicks either. Wait, so is Barry now going to face Bowser? Oh, did you finally notice? Joe, what's the score right now? 779 to 790. If Barack beats Bowser, he'll be ahead by one point. Ooh, then I guess it's time to unravel my big scheme. Hmm? The fuck are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Are you referring to your roles, Donald? Yep. Bring out the wheel, Joe. What do you expect to do with that? It's simple, Barry. I have two free rolls thanks to your little soapbox moment with the point deduction effect, right? Uh-huh. Wait, you wouldn't dare. I most certainly would, Barack. Donald? Now, Joe, hmm? let's see if I can use Barack's requests against him by deducting 80 points. Oh, shit. God damn it, no. Whatever I get here is all you, Barack. Get ready. Please, please, please. Donald, if this actually works. It'll be the most beautiful thing to ever happen on the planet. No power-ups. Oh, fucking seriously? You still got one more roll. True. I'll take it, I'll no. take it, I'll fucking Whoa. take it. Fuck yeah! Y you can't- You said you'd give him whatever effect it landed on, Donald. Yeah, but- By code of honor, I have to let it pass. Yeah, heed the code of honor, Donald. I- God, I am so fucking happy right now. You feeling all right over there, Donald? Guess I better empty everything out. Yeah, and you're not getting any kind of freebies like last time. Don't worry, I'll cooperate. You know, I think this level would have been a lot cooler if they made you play through all eight rooms. Yeah, this level's pick-a-room concept is lame as shit, seeing that it's supposed to be the big finale. Do you ever plan on losing that fucking cape feather? Barack, relax, I'm losing it. Jesus, I wasn't even holding A or anything. That doesn't matter. Ooh. That was close. Lucky prick. Got something to say? Nope, sure don't. Huh. You cheating riggin' son of a bitch. Okay. Tss, there's the bright light I snatched from the end of Donald's tunnel. Hmm. What, what, were you expecting a reaction there? 
I don't care for because your reaction. Because that wasn't even, okay, then why did you go, hmm? Don't worry about it. It gives the impression that you care when you fake laugh at your own cringe. Your salt is what's cringy, Donald. Your salt is what's fucking cringe, Barack. For the love of God, just beat Bowser, Barack. Disregarding this whole contest, I really do love this fight. From the build-up to the music, the phases, it's truly the better classic Bowser fight. I agree, this fight is actually one of my personal favorite Bowser fights in general. In general? What do you mean by that? It's in my top five. Oh, okay. Personally, I like Mario 3's fight better because of the connection I have with that game. But if I'm being honest, I think this fight is pretty dang cool. A third of the way there. Hmm. Don't touch that. I know. Chill. I wonder where he keeps that ball. If I had a point for every time I've heard that question... You would have had just enough to beat me. All right, Barack. Just two more hits. It would be admittedly funny if you somehow flopped this. Well, good thing this fight is easy. Easier than Lemmy, Barry? Oh my god, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. This last phase is admittedly a little intimidating while small. Uh, maybe a little. Get him, Bowser. Get him, Bowser. Please stop saying that. I'm trying to focus. Finally, my moment. I did it. It's finally over. Good job, Barack. Whatever. How you feeling, Donald? Indifferent. Don't worry, big guy. You know, I actually know a good way to blow off some steam if you're interested. I fucking swear, if you say anything about A nice, about relaxing God. game of Minecraft. Damn it. You know, you two are pretty funny. Why? The way you just assume victory without realizing that I still have to tally up all the points. Well, I mean, that's it, right? Uh, no, there's literally a whole other category that the both of you seem to have forgotten about. Huh? What? Wait. Ooh, is it the fucking lives? There you go, Donald. But, but wait a second, how many lives did we even end on? Okay, why don't we do some math here? Hmm. Okay, so Barack, you ended with 63 lives, which puts your ending score at 881. All right, pretty respectable. And me? Donald? With the help of your 98 lives, your score leaps past Barack's, landing at 888, which makes you the winner. Oh shit, I fucking did it! I pulled through! No fucking way! Yep. Sorry, Barack. Yeah, sorry, Barack. Check those fucking numbers again. There's gotta be something unaccounted for. Barack, I've been staring at these numbers for the whole run. There's no way that I... Wait a second. Uh-huh. Joe, don't play with my fucking heart like this. What's wrong? Wait, I actually did miscount. Oh, shit. That's what I thought. So what's the score then? Somehow I forgot to count three extra points for when Donald cleared that last ghost house exit. So Donald's actually at 891. Good game, Barack. What the fuck, Joe? Come on. It is what it is, Barack. Too bad your whole antagonist shtick didn't work out, right? No fucking shit, man. I did everything from gambling, instigating, mind games. I even threw myself down a pit while you were away to ensure that first boss bonus. Wait, you did what? It doesn't matter. Because in the end, you won, fair and square. And while I did seek to beat you at one of your favorite games, I still can't help but feel a bit ridiculous for my actions. So for that, I'd like to formally apologize to the both of you for making this a bit tense. Nah, it's okay, Barack. I admittedly had a bit of some fun watching the meltdown. Yeah, and I actually had a lot of fun playing this game with Joe's rule set. Once again, Joe, this was better than I anticipated. Thank you, Donald. Barack? Yeah. You ready to jump into my new Minecraft map? I guess that is what everyone's been waiting for, right? Yep. Well, I guess I better go ahead and boot up Minecraft then. Man, it's crazy to look back and see how close that game was. Boys, how are you feeling after watching the challenge? I just find it both amazing and hilarious that Barack tried to cheat and manipulate the game to go his way, only to still fall behind. Yeah, well, what can I say? Karma's a bitch. But either way, it was a lot of fun in hindsight. Now before we go, we also want to bring attention to the fact that the channel is about to hit 10,000 subscribers. This is, of course, a big deal to the boys and myself. So. Uh, again, we want to sincerely thank you guys for all the support and kindness that you've given us during this last year. Making these videos has honestly been a blast, even when we're at each other's throats. The main goal of this channel, which is a philosophy that we've agreed to adopt here, is that we can find unity in humor. Right on the money, Barry. And we're really excited to show you all the challenge ideas and additional projects we have in the future. Should we tell them about anything, Barry? Uh, maybe a few things. Joe, do you want to drop some news? I mean, sure. 
May as well take advantage of the deposit I put on this stage. Wait, wait, where'd you get the deposit money from? So, of course, we have the upcoming episodes of the subspace and Mario Party 5 series. In addition, there's also Barack's continued playthrough of my second Minecraft map, a series of events. After these projects are completed, we will begin production on the next challenge series, which will be Donald and myself playing Mario 3. It's also worth noting that we have two additional playthroughs planned as well, but we're going to keep those a secret for now. Uh, then of course there's Joe's third Minecraft map. Yeah, but that's a bit further out in the future. You gotta finish a series of events first, Barry. I know, guys. I'm just trying to drop some extra hype. I get you, big guy. But anyway, for those wondering what they can expect next... You want to know what's coming? The beginning of something so... transcendent which will start with a children's party game, of course.